What's your worst I know this looks bad, but I can explain moment. Mystery of stuff. Being the manager of a job once, I asked a young lady employee to do something like sweep or whatever. She kept giggling and acting kind of weird and I didn't know her well so I just dismissed it and went back to my desk. When I sat down I realized I had a flashlight in my pants pocket. The way it was positioned and shaped looked like a huge hard-on. I really can't imagine what was going through her mind. Years ago I was dating this girl, and I had just acquired a black powder gun. Now for those of you who don't know, one of the parts on many of the black powder guns is called a nipple, and usually require a wrench to get off. Mine didn't have this wrench, so I punched in Ruger nipple wrench into Google, and went downstairs to grab a drink. When I come back into her room, she's looking at my laptop, wide-eyed and nervously says um, I don't know if I would be into that. Cue my reaction of what? No. Wait it's a gun tool thing I swear. Edit, I can English, I promise. When my daughter was around 3 years old, she casually told my wife that daddy likes to come into my room naked and play with me. It took a minute to realize what she was talking about. A few weeks prior to that, she had woken up screaming. Bad dream, I'm guessing. I jump out of bed wearing nothing but boxer briefs to see what the problem was. To get her to stop crying, I tried to make her laugh. Luckily, my wife believed me. I babysit for extra income and took a four-year-old boy I was caring for to the park. I was pushing him on the swing and he pipes up, that tickles my penis. I have no idea why he'd been swinging for a good 15 minutes before announcing that and I'm not sure if he just shifted his weight in the swing, or that was the only way he knew to describe feeling butterflies in his stomach from the swinging motion, but I was legit worried he might tell his parents something like, Twerry 12 tickled my penis on the swing. I'm a woman the fear would be magnified tenfold if I were a man. I work at a school portrait company. I retouch thousands of images and sometimes I need to retouch inappropriate things. Well this high school girl was wearing a see-through shirt and I had to retouch out her nipples. I was in the office by myself as a 20-something year old man when a girl walks in and sees me zoomed in on this high school girl's see-through shirt. I can explain. I told her I'm not a creep, I'm just retouching her shirt so you can't see her nipples. It was very awkward but since she worked as a photographer she completely understood once I explained. I used to work in youth sports photography. This process is actually important. We had someone order a poster size image of their basketball player. But uh, you could see the outline of his junk. We had to be sure to fix it because taking the calls of upset parents over these issues is just awkward. I was practicing anatomy for drawing of course. So. I had to look up naked models and stuff. No big deal. Just to get the human form down. Nothing too weird. I get done sketching for the day and went to bed. Over the weekend I was animating and my dad walked in my room to ask me something. Well, he goes what the hell. And picks up a drawing. I was like what? And he sees these drawings. I legit said the line wait. I can explain and he walked away laughing. While my husband was in nursing school, he lived at home with his parents. He had a similar experience while he was studying for anatomy. He had looked up something to do with the male genitalia, made his note, and continued on with his studying while leaving the browser open to an anatomical dick. His dad popped into the room to ask him something, looked at the screen, mumbled oh, uh, okay and walked away while my husband yelled out I can explain. Both my husband and my mother-in-law are nurses and the topics they freely discuss are ones that, if overheard, would absolutely warrant a I can explain. I was volunteering at a pool for my instructor's certification. The girl I was with was really thirsty and asked if I would mind getting her a Powerade from the vending machine since she couldn't leave her class. She told me where her wallet was so I could get her change. Another staff member walked in while I was taking the money from her wallet. I was the most straight-laced, nervous kid on earth, lol. I explained. 
She either believed me or checked with the lifeguard later, but either way, the first girl got her Powerade and the pool hired me later, so the second girl knows I'm not a thief. I was out one night and forgot my keys. Was trying to climb in an open downstairs window when a cop car pulled up outside. Not a good look. Thankfully my housemate finally woke up and came down. We rented so would have been hard to prove as my ID had a different address. Also a dog followed me home, and they asked if it was my dog, and it was cute so I said it was. Found the owner later in the week though. Good for him slash them, bad for us. My dad used to drive the ambulance for both my town and the neighboring town. He helped deliver the first baby in our town's ambulance after mom started going into labor during the drive to the hospital. It was a big deal and was written up in the local paper. We ended up becoming great friends with the family, and we went on a few family vacations together growing up. Then my dad helped give birth to the first baby in the other town's ambulance and again got a fun little article in the newspaper. First mom sees my parents in a packed restaurant slash bar and runs up to my dad and shouts, jokingly, you had another baby without me? My mom said the bar got the quietest she'd ever heard it get. Mystery of stuff.